Yep, it's a uh, Sunday morning. We uh be working on a uh, trailer. I need to get a trailer built so I can haul stuff. Um, went and picked up this axle. I've been fighting, fighting this thing. The when I bought this, I only paid like fifty dollars for the trailer, and then uh, the wheels and tires are these, all rusted out. So need to change axles so I could have different wheel pattern the wheel pattern on that's like a was five by five and a half and it's hard to find in, in, in that size where I could have small tires like this so it'll be a you know basic kind of like a deck over trailer so which you know that's not the correct term for it but it just so we can have a tires underneath the, the deck so we wouldn't have fenders sticking up on the deck so I'm just going to uh, so I went and picked up this axle and believe it or not it actually fits right there on both but as you can see how far off I am on the leaf springs so if I take the leaf springs build me the thing off the my my things here then I'll be fine so what I need to do is we'll have to build some new, get some new ones of these. Hopefully I can just cut these off and move them on to here. I may end up just cutting, cutting this piece here out and then we'll, we'll move it over to here. But I'm going to try to flip this over by myself, which I don't think I'm strong enough. Plus I'm old. So, but see, I bought this one thinking I could stretch this axle with the old axle and just weld them hubs on there no it won't work so we're stuck having to do that so I'll have $90 in this trailer so far and then I got to do lights wood well some type of deck on there we'll put, but I need it for the golf carts so I pick up golf carts riding mowers stuff like that so I think it used to be an old trailers you know probably like a camper trailer I don't know it's awful small to be a camper trailer see it's got the metal sides here on the four corners so I'm not sure really what really what it was so it could have been some type of small enclosed trailer I don't know but I'm gonna try to flip this over we're gonna get to whacking and cutting and welding and hopefully get this thing where we can actually use it I don't like I, I, I don't like not having a trailer I, if I had a truck I wouldn't need a trailer but still, yeah you know have me something to drive up on this here it, the bed on the inside of it's real big real long and it's almost as uh, like an enclosed trailer and I can put 4 by 8 plywood and stuff in there but you know, I don't have no ramps, so no easy way to load nothing. So hopefully we can keep her low like this. And then I can have small ramp off the back. But let me get this thing flipped over and yakking too much as it is. And uh, we'll go from there, guys. Well, hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we get some progress done. The jack needs to be come off. New jack's got to be put on. Probably get me an electric one because I'm lazy. All right, I'm, I'm yakking. All right, so we got her flipped over. This has this on here, which should be, and just unbolt that. We'll do a hole, stick that through there. That's nice and thick. We can even, we can sleeve it if we need to, but I don't think there'll be a need. And then, uh, looks like we can just cut here and cut that section out right there. We just weld that right onto the here. You know, weld it, weld it. I think we'll, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. Should be pretty easy. Well, now I just probably just cursed myself. I should have cut that stuff already before I flipped this over. But uh, yeah, what do you do? So I'm gonna whack some of this stuff off here. See what we can come up with. 
hopefully it uh everything comes out like like I want to want it to so I'm gonna get some tools out here I probably need to see if we can't get them bolts loose but yeah let me get let me get to whacking all right what I did is I just unbolted this thing and it's got hangers right here so I'm just gonna weld them hangers weld it here Weld it here, here, across the side here, back there, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some pieces of metal. I'm gonna go buy some metal. And we're just gonna just weld us a plate, you know, so far up, and then uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna weld some plate metal on each side here, and across you know across there on each side, and that should be should be perfect probably end up having to get some bolts but these bolts here i had to beat out and they're uh they got the locking grooves in it there so i don't know i, don't, I ain't too worried about this thing swinging i don't really care if it swings or not i just want it to bounce i just want it to be an axle on there with tires and wheels i'm hoping that the mother hubs will fit on there. If not, I can get a set of rims and tires for it. Not a big deal. But I'm pretty sure we figure like that. We're gonna be up way above that thing. And uh so I'm gonna run and grab some metal and we're gonna we're just gonna sh sh like that, make it easy. And we'll set the we'll be able to set the axle on there and we'll tighten her on. And we should be good to go. Man, I'm so glad I picked that one up. I had to drive 45 minutes one way to pick them up, so I drove an hour and a half to get that axle. And it fits right on that thing there, so I don't have to worry about, you know, like this piece here bending or anything, or that piece there bending. So I'm gonna go grab some metal, and we gonna cut some metal. Well, I went to get some metal, and it was a little more than what I wanted to pay for it. So I come here and I knew I had a couple pieces of metal and I was looking around and then I was like, wait a minute, I got spring hangers right here on this. So I took them off there, they fit perfect. Everything's gonna be peachy, fine and dandy. Uh, so yeah, I think we're gonna be good. I think that's how we're going to do her. I'm kind of digging it. Uh, so what I got to do now is figure out what I'm going to do. <laughs> I need to bring the welder out here and uh, zap it. I wish I could get this thing closer to the garage, but I might have to carry the whole welder out here. So... Oh well, we'll get her done. I gotta clean up some, uh, clean up where my welds are gonna be. So I'm gonna mark it, and, uh, uh, and then we have to square up our ends, make sure the fronts are where we want them, and then we'll uh, kind of eyeball where we want this these back ones at. But uh, it's not gonna be that low. I'll raise it up a little bit higher on there before we weld it so man it's gonna be nice to have a, an axle on here so let me get to let me get to bringing this welder out here and we'll uh we'll get to welding that thing uh, tacking it and then we'll tack it how we need to and then we'll uh i can buzz most of it in but once i tack it you know trying to get it uh situated where we want it and then I'll pull the leaf springs off because I just kind of have it so it's it helps square it up a little bit. So I'm gonna grab my square. We're gonna we're gonna I need to grab my grinder, my welder. Sucks I got to do this all outside with the wind blowing. Uh, there's the square. Let me give us a little speed square. Uh, let me get this stuff drug out here and I'll get this stuff grounded down and. We'll go from there. So I'm gonna eyeball 
my bolt holes from here up to here. <laughs> I'm grounded. I got the ground to it. It's just not good enough ground. I don't know. Ah. Hell, shoot. I don't know. Grounded. Yeah. Just ground right through there. Jack either. God. Ow, 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 ow. I'm using flux core, so. Turn that wire speed up. Okay, I hate. I don't know what it is with this welder, man. I hate it. Hide it. Look at that. Not even penetrating the metal. All right. Well, I'm gonna get my welding helmet. We're gonna. I'm gonna crank this crank this welder up as high as I can get it and then we're gonna hit her well this side welds come out not too shabby that side I ain't even getting close with the camera you guys might as well forget that one it's pretty horrible uh, I was able to be more close to my welder on this side and was able to adjust the wire speed I still kept it on hot See, look at that look at that big old glob and uh, got it to where it wasn't jumping around on me I'm starting to finally figure this welder out a little bit it's it's taking a while but it's getting there um, it actually quit working on me uh, still running but it's just it, it got hot and it shuts down after so long and I was able to weld all that and all this before it shut down so it's not a not a bad little box, but I wish I had a 220, 240, whatever y'all want to call it from where you're at. But 
Uh, so what do I want to do now is I'm going to see if this is cooled down enough yet. And then I'll stick this spring on here. Yeah, she's cooled down enough. We're going to stick this spring on here. So we're gonna, we're just gonna try to eyeball this one a little, little bit. Wanna, uh, wanna eyeball this. You can see where the old one's at right here. So we wanna, we're gonna come right here. But we want to bring it up just a little bit. About there. Uh, about right there, maybe. Yeah. And we'll buzz this one in. We might drop it down a little bit. She's a little high. Get just about middle way, maybe. Or maybe just go ahead and. Not real positive yet. Let's see what we get. What else we got here? That's not real high. Yeah, that's that's a lot better. We can weld here, all the way around. Weld the center. Weld the back side of here and here. So we'll have to get that cleaned up and. Uh, one step closer, one step closer. I got all that welded. It actually stopped at the very end of my weld, so I was all right. But I wanted to weld the inside to them. I welded them on that one. So, well, that's, this is cooling off. We'll uh, go ahead and shut her down. I'll plug her for a while. She resets after a while. Done it to me before. I'm gonna go over here and uh, clean that up and get it ready to be welded. Well, got a little welded up now. The welds turned out really good this time. Well, I shouldn't say really good, but really good for me for what I'm doing and what I'm using. So, uh, let that cool down a little bit, but uh, we'll throw this axle on top of it. Pretty straight with the, with the rail, the frame. I don't know about this one yet, though. Yeah, she's a little cocked this way at the end, the back side, but. Well, you do. I mean, I can take a sleds and bend them things that way. Well, yeah. let me throw this uh, axle on here. Let's see what happens. Should be pretty close. goes 
that actual bent. Well, I know they're supposed to have a bow, but I think the bow's supposed to go the other way. This is probably a, uh, actually it goes on top of the springs, not under. Uh, maybe I'll flip it in there inside and see if there's a, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to have to be put on the inside of the leaf springs, but I've got plenty of room to do that anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it around and stick it underneath and uh, try to get her bolted on. Yeah, that's exactly exactly what's up with that, but that would still give me plenty of room for my tires. So, let me flip it over. It's going to take two hands to do this one. So, we'll get you back when uh, I get there. All right, we got one side on. It ain't all the way bolting down, but I got, got her upside down. Pull these up off here. Oh. Uh, I used a used my C clamp to help hold that on. All right, my my kid's mom showed up with my kid, so I had to had to jump off here real fast. So I got that in there. It's, I had to take the spring out of the perch. So, so hopefully we can uh, get go back in. We ain't get much have much issues. Should be all right. be nice out my knee Whew. it's windy today too I'll have to get new U-bolts eventually with some lock nuts and stuff, but for now, this is what we got. Man, she's done. Axle installed. Whew. Been a pain in my butt. But uh, I want to see if these uh, hubs are going to fit. I doubt it. So, oh well. If they don't, they don't. I'll just get different wheels and tires. I got, I got, I got a pair. I just have to get them. Or I just have to pick them up anyway. I should say. Let's go over here. Things kind of wore out. Ooh, nasty in there. We'll 
be repacking these bearings. These are the other ones. One of the others. Pretty nice. I just hope the other ones fit. Let's get the other uh, Get another one. It looks like it. Possi good possibility. Good possibility. Now. I don't think so. Nope. No, nope, not gonna work. Well, ain't gonna work. So we'll just have to get the other tires I got, rolling tires. But at least I got axle. And can get some rolling tires now. up anyway so I mean it's not a big deal. I'll put these I'll get new cotter keys and stuff too so until then that's how she's gonna roll. So uh, we got the axle installed it's all that matters. Uh, <coughs> that's a Dexter axle too so it's pretty good. I mean that's what it says on the hub here Dexter so it's a beefy, beefier one, so I just gotta find some decent. Well, I shouldn't say I have to find them. I, I gotta get them, bring them, bring them home. But uh, it's easier to get this lug pattern, so we're all good with that part. Uh, I probably put this thing back over. Man, it's windy. If I put this thing back over, get her set up, close shop down, call it a day. So, appreciate y'all sticking around watching. If you if you did stick around, cause uh, I know it's kind of messed up video. It wasn't too much about how how to uh, how to build. Not even how to build. This is more of a how I build it type deal. So, but it's on there, man. I used two different trailers. I well, I bought a whole nother trailer. And basically for 40 bucks got them two spring hangers is basically what i got off of that and i mean i could probably i'll probably just throw that out in the scrap pile i kind of want to keep the fenders though just in case i need them for this but i don't feel like taking them off I'm lazy but anyways that thing's i got an axle that's one step one step closer to being done with this thing i got it now i just got to get some lights um, they get lights. I want to, I got to find something I want to use for the floor. And then I want to build a small rail around the whole thing. So, yeah, I don't like that I had to put the axle the way I did, but I'm not real positive how, how well that's going to do, how that well that's going to go over. Cause it's going to be about like, it's going to be the same tire, but it's going to be five lug. Let me see how she, she's under. Man, she's gonna be close. Ooh, she's gonna be close. Let's see if we can't find a... Oh, you know what? It ain't even that. Yeah, we good. We're gonna be... We'll be real close. Man, real close. Kinda sucks. If not, I can put golf cart tires on there. They have trailer tires like that. Uh, so I can put them on there if I need to be. It's gonna be something like that. But there'll be trailer tires actually on the rims. It's not gonna be these. I think they're only. Well, I think these are trailer tires too. These are four ply though. They're uh, hold 60 psi in air. The other ones I'm looking at hold 90 psi. 
and it usually has a, 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 a load rating, but I don't see how many pounds, but we'll make sure it's right, make sure we can haul stuff on it. The trailer is only a couple hundred pounds, maybe 100 pounds, 150, 160 pounds probably, so that's what we're going to run with. All right, well, I'm going to close up shop. The kid's here, so I need to go in ahead and get her, uh, go spend some time with her. I ain't seen her in a, probably a week, week and a half, so we'll go spend some time with baby tape. We'll see y'all on the next one. Appreciate you watching. Mm -hmm.